Welcome back to Takeus McGinnis Elder Care Law Hour. I'm your co-host Tim Takeus, and we're talking today about getting your ducks in a row for 2019. And I'm Barbara McGinnis. In this episode, we've been talking about your legal, financial, um, and health, and what do you need to do to Im to get that in line, better for the new year. And we've got a wonderful expert from 50 Forward, Dr. Jocelyn Burdell, who is going to talk to us about the Aging Mastery Program with 50 Forward and how do we stay physically fit and how important that is as we age, right? Sure, yes, absolutely. So tell us. Absolutely. Um, the Aging Mastery Program is a program that was developed by the National Council on Aging and it was such a great fit for us here at 50 Forward because um, of the fact that it really provides us with a toolbox to help us to age well. And I think that's really the impetus of the program. It's a 10 week curriculum that is offered and is taught by uh, facilitators or experts in, in a variety of different um, areas. And I'll go through that in just a minute. Um, but the goal of the Aging Mastery Program essentially is to ensure that people are able to manage their health that they're able to uh, retain their financial security, which we've been talking about already today. Yeah. Um, and they also are able to contribute to their communities. And so that, that's the focus of the program. Um, as I said, there was a 10 week curriculum. Some of the workshops that are involved are uh, fall prevention, exercise, uh, eating well, uh, engaging in healthy relationships. Um, engaging in your community, uh, advanced planning, and financial fitness are some of those workshops that we offer. And they've had really such a great impact, I think, on our members who've been involved mm -hmm. and, because it's supposed to be life-changing. Mm -hmm. And so we've had people who have uh, actually gone back to college because they didn't finish their undergraduate degree mm -hmm. and they got their bachelor's um, mm -hmm. or changed their eating habits and, and the way that they exercise. And so it's been a great program for us for the last two years. Right. So you mentioned th that's the toolbox, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. the toolbox is the fall prevention, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. eating well, the mm -hmm advanced planning, yes. all those sorts of things, yes. ten, 10 classes. Yes, yeah, all rolled up together. Um, we does it cost anything? It does not cost anything for our members. If you are a non-member, then you will pay a $60 fee for that. Um, to be able to participate in the program, but most people six dollars a workshop. Yeah, That's exactly. A it's a, absolutely it is a bargain. It really, really is. And so, um, but we really do try and encourage them to become members of Fifty Four because then they they can um, really access so many more services that we offer. Right. So, how do you find out about the classes? Where they mm -hmm. are? When do they start? That sure, kind of thing. Sure. Sure. We've offered offered them at different times during the year. This year, we uh, for night of twenty nineteen, we'll be offering them in the fall. Mm -hmm. and they will be offered probably more than likely at four of our centers uh, because then we combine two of our centers together and that information can be accessed on our website we have calendars that are, are placed a month in advance but more than likely we probably will put this on the front of our website letting people know when we're ready to offer those programs. Okay, and we're going to have your contact information yes. up or 50 forwards in a minute so mm -hmm. everybody will okay, be able great, to get to your website. So how do people who are re retired or near retired and they're thinking about giving back to the community, how, does, how do people do that? Sure. Um, we've got two great programs um, that come out of our, that come for, they're supported by Senior Corps, which is a federal program. Mm -hmm. The first one is our Friends Learning in Pair, which is a tutor mentoring program. Um, it's definitely intergenerational um, in terms of the fact that we are about 120 uh, volunteers go into secondary ed schools to work with, with children. And um, it really is, a, I think, a great experience for them and the, and the child um, because they're getting so much um, useful information um, from this volunteer effort. The uh, second program is a foster grandparent program which has been around since 1965. It's one of the oldest programs in the United States. Um, we affectionately call those participants grannies since most of our, our, our volunteers are women. Mm -hmm. um, our oldest is 97 <laughs> and wow. um, they work in, again in secondary schools and daycare centers. As I, as I say, they're loving on, on the students and really mentoring them and working with them. It's a great program again because again, those women that are involved in that program have, um, have a place where they can go. Um, and it also helps them to maintain their own health and their own fitness, both mentally mm -hmm. and physically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the foster grandparent program is is the elder really 
Sh sharing. They're not being yes. fostered. No. They're they're no. sharing they are their sharing. their Absolutely. experiences. They, right. Exactly. exactly. So where are all these programs taking place? What if you don't live in Davidson or Williamson County? Sure. Well, we're the experts, and so yeah. I always say, you know, um, a lot of our lifelong learning centers most certainly have members that are not in those two counties, and they're more than welcome to join. Um, if there's something they want to uh, get involved with and are not sure how, give us a call. As, mm -hmm. And as you said, our, our information should be up on, on the screen. Mm -hmm. So do, we, do you have to be retired to be in 50 Forward? No, you don't. It's 50 plus. But okay, we do so accept people who are younger than 50 because we have some um, mother-daughter <laughs> um, uh -huh. teams that go to, go to the centers and they're not 50 yet. Uh -huh. But they may not be employed and so they're taking advantage of the services. And so yes, they've joined. Mm. Okay, so I could join. I'm 63. So absolutely, we I'm, would love e to have you. Even though I'm working and <laughs> yes, full-time job. Yes, absolutely, we would love to have you. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put your contact information out. Right. We have one minute uh, to mm. left and we're going to see that 50 Forward, the, your website's up, it's 50forward.org. 50 Right. And there's a phone number, 615-743-3400. Yeah, yeah th this show has a wide reach. It goes mm -hmm. all over the country. Mm -hmm. uh, what do people, what can people do in their own community if they can't get to Nashville or near Nashville? Sure, any, I would. Any um, ideas? I would check with a social service office in, in their in their county or in their city, uh -huh. um, as well as maybe call the chamber when looking for information that right. um, for for senior services. Great. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Well, we got to wrap this up. Right. We really appreciate you being here. We appreciate all what Fifty Forward mm -hmm. does for Middle Tennessee, mm -hmm. and. If you want more information about today's episode, check out our website or the Channel 5 website. You can see. And we hope that you turn in again next time for the next episode of Take Us McGinnis right. Elder Care right. Law. And remember to get your ducks in a row for 2019. See you next time.